Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and welcome to another episode of Building the Ultimate Mac Mini. Today we are going to clone the hard drive inside of this Mac Mini here to a solid state drive that we are going to install in a future episode. So big shout out to Kingston and iFixit for making this series possible. I really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into this whole thing here. What we're going to use here is the target disk method of cloning. Now if some of you aren't familiar with that, I will explain that later in the video here. But this is just one of the many ways that you can clone a hard drive to a solid state drive or a hard drive to a hard drive or any mixture of, of those type of cloning methods. We are going to use the target disk mode and it makes it really easy because basically we are going to pull up this Mac Mini on another Mac to show up as an external drive. That way we can actually plug in the solid state drive via a USB enclosure into the Mac that we are using to clone this hard drive and then we can go ahead and simply clone it by using disk utility. Very, very simple procedure. Like I said, there are many other ways to do this with this Mac Mini here, but this is my favorite. So we are going to use a Thunderbolt cable as you see right here. All you have to do is hook one end into the Mac Mini and then you go ahead and hook up the other end into your Mac that you're going to be using to clone the actual drive. Now I'm using Thunderbolt because that is the fastest connection possible to use in this type of scenario. Thunderbolt is going to be extremely fast in cloning the hard drive to the solid state drive. Unfortunately, we're still limited by the USB 2.0 from the solid state drive enclosure, but I will show you guys that in a little bit here. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do once you have the computer connected via Thunderbolt to your other Mac is you want to go ahead and hold down the T key. So what you want to do is boot up the Mac and then hold down the T key immediately when you hear that chime. This will force the computer into target disk mode and as you can see here I'm pressing the power and then I'm going to hold down the T key right here and there we go it's going to boot it up into target disk mode and what that will do is it will make this Mac mini pull up as an external hard drive on another Mac. So as you can see right here I have the Mac pulled up. This is my iMac and there we go we have Macintosh HD that just pulled up up as an external drive and now that is the actual Mac mini's hard drive that we have pulled up and we're going to click don't use for the time machine thing uh, but let's go ahead and jump in here and as you can see we have the complete file structure of the Mac mini's hard drive pulled up inside of my iMac. So in my opinion this is the easiest way to get this process going. Now the next thing we're going to do here is take the external hard drive enclosure that came with the HyperX update kit that I got from Kingston and we're going to put that solid state drive inside of this enclosure here and then we can hook it up via USB to the iMac. From there we'll be able to clone the contents of the hard drive within the Mac Mini over to the solid state drive. Now like I said we are kind of restrained by the data transfer capabilities of USB 2.0 in this little hard drive enclosure but it's still not going to take very long. We're using the fastest connections possible via Thunderbolt and then over here to the solid state drive via USB 2.0. So what we want to do now that we have the solid state drive in that enclosure is go ahead and plug it in to the iMac here. And like I said, there are many ways to do this, but this is the one I find the easiest. So once you have that in there, you should see it pull up just like this. It'll tell you that it's not recognized. What you want to do is go ahead and click on the initialize button and that will pull up disk utility as you can see right here. So let's go ahead and move that front and center. Now we have both of these hard drives in disk utility. As you can see, there's the solid state drive and then right above that we have Macintosh HD which is the hard drive. Now we want to go ahead and first erase this drive and format it using the Mac OS extended journal option there from the format list and then you can go ahead and name the drive if you want. I always format first as a precaution just to make sure that everything is in line with the drive and once you format it then we can go ahead and continue with the cloning process here. So once we're all formatted, what we want to do here is take the contents of Macintosh HD at the top and clone it down to the solid state drive, which is the Kingston HyperX down here. And the easiest way to do that in disk utility is to use the restore tab. So go ahead and click on the restore tab here at the top. And then what we want to do is make sure our source and destination is set up right. So the source is going to be Macintosh HD, which is that one terabyte drive. And then we want to make the destination 
the solid state drive. So then we can drag the partition from that solid state drive down into destination. And as you can see here, it's letting you know that it's going to erase Macintosh HD and restore it with the contents of the one terabyte drive. Obviously, this might be a little easier if you name the drive differently, uh, which you can also choose to do so when you format the solid state drive. But once you go ahead and click erase, you can then enter in your password here to verify that you're the owner of this or whatever. And now you'll be on your way. As you can see, it's copying the blocks and we have about 17 minutes remaining. This speed is definitely going to vary depending on your connection to the drive you're cloning and the drive you're cloning to. So keep that in mind. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through this entire cloning process. So let's just go ahead and speed this along here. And as you can see, we're all finished up now. We have the two drives still here on on the side so if we launch a finder window you can see the contents of the original drive is now on the solid state drive we have an exact duplicate it's a bootable copy of that hard drive up there nothing different between the two and we have successfully cloned this hard drive to the solid state drive below it so very very easy way to do it like I said there are many ways to perform this cloning process with a Mac but I find this to be the easiest way to get the contents onto the solid state drive it's probably one of the fastest too unless you're hooked up via firewire or USB 3.0 to the solid state drive so I hope you enjoyed this installment of building the ultimate Mac mini the next video we are going to be installing the solid state drive within this closure into the Mac Mini, effectively replacing the hard drive that's currently in it so that we can have faster read and write times on the Mac Mini and essentially make it a complete beast as far as performance goes. So stay tuned for the next installment of building the Ultimate Mac Mini. I want to give another big shout out to iFixit and Kingston for sponsoring this series. It means a lot to me and I appreciate all the support from you guys. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out the channel a lot. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching everybody, this is Dom and have a great day.